So the basic chip shot that we're going to um, look at right now is something that's going to really make a difference to your game. So let's just talk about this. So you remember that I said we need to get the ball on the green, rolling as quick as possible. That will help to get um, a good distance control from your uh, chips. So in order to do that, we must get some things right, our technique and our setup right around the ball. So let's just look at some very simple areas of how to chip effectively. First of all, when you hold the golf club, you can either hold it at the bottom of the handle or at the top of the handle, any way you like really. As long as you're comfortable with where you grip the golf club, that's fine with me. So I grip the golf club, I place the club behind the ball, aiming up to my intended target. I then put my feet very close together. You don't need a wide stance for this shot. This is a touchy-feely shot. So a wide stance gives you power. A narrow stance gives you a touch and feel for these type of chip shots. So a narrow stance, and the ball is gonna be in line with your right heel. So that means it's going to be at the back of your stance. So I've gripped the club, I've placed the club head behind the ball, lining up to my intended target. My feet are close together and the ball is in line with my right heel. Now you probably want to aim your feet a little bit left of target. This will just give you some room in this area to allow the hands and arms to swing through uninhibited. Some people like to go parallel, but I think having the stance slightly open gives you a little bit more room to swing more effectively and efficiently. So the actual movement of the swing is a very simple one. I want you to think um, as if you're putting. If you notice, my arms and my shoulders have formed a triangle shape. All that you are going to do is move the triangle backwards and forwards in this motion. You notice there as well that my wrists and hands have been very quiet in the stroke. They're, they're basically redundant. They're not working. The problem that a lot of golfers have is when they chip, they tend to use too much wrist action. We're trying to get rid of that. So all that we're trying to promote is a shoulder and an arm movement. So no wrist and hand action play any part at all in this particular basic chip shot. Also you notice that my lower half from the waist down is not moving a lot. You don't need a lot of leg action for this type of shot. So the overall movement is like this. Where really the shoulders and the arms, the triangle shape is moving back and forwards. Everything else stays quiet. So let me just demonstrate this shot for you now. So I grip the golf club where I feel comfortable. My feet are close together and they're aiming left. The ball is in line with my right heel, so in the back of the stance. I now lean a little bit on my left leg. 60-40 ratio is probably the best um, way of looking at it. And my hands are slightly left of the ball. Now all I'm going to do is this basic putting stroke by moving my arms and shoulders away and through. That's the basic chipping shot. You noticed that the actual swing itself was very, very calm. You don't need to hurry this shot. This is a shot that requires touch and feel, calmness around the greens. That's how you do your basic chipping shot.